Hi there, I've come to share something about tongues now. A gift of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. It says tongues of men and angels. Tongues that we speak to God, and tongues that we speak to men. Tongues of intercession, tongues of prophecy, and tongues with interpretation. So I'm just going to read from Acts chapter 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. And when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because of every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marvelled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia in Pontius and Asia and Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya and Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes, Arabians, we do hear them speak in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What means this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Men of Judea and all you that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as you suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And, in, and it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my maid, hand, handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heavens above, and signs in the earth beneath, below blood and fire and vapour and of smoke. And the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and the notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, the man approved of God, among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. Him, being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. But David speaks concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because you will not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer your Holy One to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life, thou shalt make me full of joy with your countenance. And then Peter goes on to describe how they took him and crucified him and that David spoke about him. But Jesus is alive. He rose from the grave and he poured out the Spirit and he poured out the gifts of the Spirit. And he's given each one of us different gifts. And I want to tell you a couple of stories. Okay, I was in South America with the MV Dulos ship. And I went ashore to do some evangelism and I had 
a guy from Chile as my interpreter because in South America they speak Spanish. We went onto the Colombian and Venezuela border to an in-village area to preach. He being my interpreter. A little boy had Spanish but no one else did. I started to speak to the people. I got no eye contact whatsoever. They wouldn't look at me. Then God gave me a tongue in their language. They all started looking at me. My interpreter noticed it and said to the little boy, Intendiendo means, do you understand, little boy? See, see, the little boy said, yes, yes. God gave me a gospel message for them in their own tongue. Isn't that good? And then later on, that was in 1978, in 79, I was in um, Rajasthan in India. And I was in a Christian meeting, and this lady had moved from the south up to the north, left all her friends and family, but she hadn't seen any real fruit at that point in time and was suffering discouragement. And as we were in a meeting and all praying, I started to speak in a tongue. Later on, she spoke to the team members. Does Alan speak Hindi? They said no. So they came to me the next morning with her. She said, what language were you speaking last night? I was with English and tongues. And uh, she said, you were speaking Hindi, my native language. And I'm very encouraged because I've been discouraged up until now. So you've really encouraged me. So that was a great encouragement. And then back in England, years and years later, only this last year in fact, I was in a home group meeting, standing next to a Filipino, and God gave me a tongue in Tagalog, that's a Filipino language. And he was so blessed, he interpreted it and told me what it said. So God is good, he can do great things. I, I, I remember reading about a man who went into a meeting, and this man spoke Chinese, and the Chinese man understood it. And I've never forgotten that. And God gave me the same gifting when he wants to.